So, so today what we're going to talk about is like shapes and images and how to manipulate them in a program. And um, so we're going to learn how to create shapes using the shapes object. And it's, it's, really, it's really a pre-programmed, uh, it's almost like a subroutine, but it's in the library. And then using various operations the shapes of the object, so we'll manipulate the shapes. We can animate the shapes on the screen. And so far we've learned how to draw patterns in small basic using graphics window and turtle objects. So in this lesson, we're going to introduce you to uh, the shapes object. And it lets you draw and rotate shapes and, uh, in the graphics window. So here are the objects, uh, the shape objects, and then all of their operations. So you can add an ellipse. You can add an image. You can add a line, rectangle, text, triangle. You can animate it. You could get left. You could, you could adjust the opacity of it, um, which is like the transparency. You can get top, you can hide the shape, you can move the shape, you can rotate the shape, you can set the shape, and so on and so forth. You can add colors to the shape. And so all of the operations that I just mentioned from the previous list, they're listed here again. And so let's look at how some of these uh, operations work. So the, co the program says rectangle equals, so that's a variable. And then we use the shape object and put add rectangle 400 comma 300 and I'll explain those coordinates a little bit later and so what we're doing is we're defining a shape that is a rectangle and then that shape is equal to uh, the shape operation add rectangle then we could use shapes dot move to move the rectangle right so instead of like adding the program all the time we just set it to a variable object and then we just move it this way to a new coordinate system, 100 comma 50. Then we're going to use a for end for loop, and so we set i from 1 to 10. So if you guys remember, when we loop through the first time, i equals 1. When we loop through the second time, i equals 2. And so what that does is it shows the shape of the rectangle. Then there's a little bit of a delay. That just counts for, I think it's uh, 1,000 milliseconds, which is like one second. Then it hides the shape of the rectangle. Then it shows the opacity. And what happens is, is the opacity will be 100 minus the value of i times 10. So the first time it will be 100 minus 10. The second time 100 minus 2 times 10, which is 20. And so the opacity over time um, becomes 0. So basically what this does is it's going to take this rectangle shape and slowly let it kind of fade out. Okay, and then we put another program delay at the end, and uh, we'll have to write the program. But basically, that that box, that rectangle, um, will slowly just um, fade out. Okay, and so now we can add a rectangle, uh, and probably should have defined this before we showed the previous program, but to add rectangle, you can define the rectangle by using this operation by specifying the name of the rectangle, the width, and the height. So this would be the width of the uh, rectangle, which would be 150 pixels, and then the height of the rectangle, which would be 100. Does that make sense? You can hide the shape, and then you, have, you just you know hide shape, and then insert the shape name. So I can make rectangle 1 equals make whatever rectangle I want. Rectangle 2, you know, whatever. You don't even have to call it rectangle. You can just say R-E-C-T or whatever you want to do. And then to show it, you just use the show shape operation. You can set the opacity. And so you can specify the opacity of the shape by labeling it from 0 to 100. Now 100 means it's opaque. Zero means you can see right through it. Okay? Get opacity. You can return the opacity of the shape by using the operation uh, specifying the name of the shape. Okay? And so on this one, what we're going to do in this example, we're going to use add image to display an image. Then we'll move, animate, and zoom uh, the image. So it says, let image path equal and then it shows the path of where the image is then let the image be a shape added by image path 
So now what this does is it'll pull the image by going to this path, which is the hard drive on your computer. So you need to know the location of it if it's on your computer. Then you're going to move the image to 5 comma 5. Then you're going to animate it from, from 5 comma 5 to 20 uh, comma 21,000. Then you're going to zoom in on it, dot 1, dot 1. And then at the end here, we're going to put a little bit of a delay, and it'll zoom uh, from 1, 0 to 1 by increasing the increment by 0.1. So the first time we go through, we have 0.1 plus 1, or plus 0, right? And so, um, so it'll be like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. And so the first thing it'll do is show the image, and then it'll zoom in on the image. All right? Does that make sense? And they put this little delay because if you don't put the delay in there, it'll zoom so quick that you can't actually see the zoom. So if I add a rectangle, I can also move the rectangle. And this is kind of very similar to moving the turtle, except you'll see the image uh, move. And we can animate its shape, which moves to a different position. You must specify the name of the shape and the x and y coordinate of the new position and the duration. So I kind of skipped over this the last time. But when we animate the shape, the first thing that we list is the x coordinate. The second thing we list is the y coordinate based on the pixels. Remember that the upper most corner is 0, 0. And then I go over so many in the x direction and go down so many in the y direction. And then 5,000 is the duration of the time in milliseconds. I think it's milliseconds. right? So that this 5,000 milliseconds would be 5 seconds. Does that make sense? All right. So then we can zoom. And that enlarges and shrinks the object. You must specify the name and shape. And the zoom level is anywhere from 0.1 uh, to 20. Okay. Now you can use shapes object to add different shapes into your program. So you can uh, perform various operations of the shape object, such that moving the shape, set, setting its opacity, adding a zoom effect. And so here's a little program here. Um, we're going to open a graphics window. We're going to set the pen width to 2. We're going to use a pen color of black, a brush color of purple. We're going to define rectangle 1, which is a rectangle that goes from 100 to 100. Then we're going to use uh, the shape move, the move operator to move it from uh, to the point 50, comma 80. Then we're going to define rectangle 2, and that's going to be the same size. But we're going to move that object to 300, comma 80. So they, have the, they both have the same y coordinate, but different x coordinates. And then we're going to do this 4 and 4 loop, where it looks like we're going to zoom in slowly over time. And as we're zooming in slowly, we're going to gradually increase um, the opacity. Does that make sense? And so that's pretty much it. We'd have to see it in real time. But what you'll see is that the object will zoom in over time. Now notice we only did it to rectangle one. So we start with this and because the and what and let me let me highlight this. We're only zooming and changing the opacity of rectangle one. So over uh, it looks like four thousand milliseconds roughly, right? Because we have a one thousand millisecond delay and we're gonna loop through four times from one to four. So over four seconds, this object will get bigger, and it'll kind of fade out. It becomes more and more transparent. So now, we can animate a shape by using the shapes object. And in this, in this example, we'll animate the shape from its original position to a different position and back to its original pos position in the uh, graphics window. So we're going to define a S ball, which will probably be like a softball. We're going to add an ellipse which is 100 by 100. Then we're going to move the shape to, to 0, 300. We're just going to define the variable x as 450. And then in the graphics window, we're going to draw a rectangle. We're going to use a brush color of purple. We're going to fill the rectangle with the same coordinate points. And so this is like the x, y's from the corners. Then we're going to animate the softball. And so the softball, when we animate it, will be 450, 400, 490. Then we're going to delay. And then we're going to get left, all right, if 
the shapes get left is equal to x, then animate the softball. If, if that statement's untrue, then we'll forward. So this is what it'll look like when we're done. We have a rectangle off to the side. We have our softball. Any questions on that one? Okay. Yeah, we're supposed to we're supposed to animate the shape from its original position and then back to its other position. Now you could do you could rotate a shape too, and this is kind of similar to the move function I, or the turn operation on the turtle, but here we would call it move, and then we would use rotate shape. So rotate shape is going to be the object, okay? And it's just a uh, rectangle. So we define it as a rectangle, uh, 150 pixels by 100 pixels. Then we can move the shape to 200 and 150. Now using the end four end, we rotate the shape, all right, um, 30 by I. So we're going we're gonna to rotate the angle. Uh, what's 30 times 12? 360 degrees. So we're going to rotate the, the object one full time. Does that make sense? So the first time it'll rotate 30 degrees, then it rotates to 60 degrees, and then it rotates to 90, and so on and so forth. And so basically what you'll have is you'll have a rectangle that kind of rotates. And it'll, it'll rotate once every second. Okay? Yeah, it's almost time. We're almost done. So in addition to drawing the shapes, we could do all kinds of fun things. We could get random colors. We could add, if we do a 4n4 four four loop, we can add rectangles. We can layer them on top of one another. And it creates an illusion like this, this box is coming forward. Now if we, added, um, if we added the picture in the back, if we chose to make that the opacity decrease, it would look, it would be a really cool effect where the boxes are coming forward in, uh, in random colors. And so that's a very short, simple program that you could write. And it, what it does is it just adds the rectangle, it randomly chooses the color, and it increases by 20, the, the uh, pixel size. So the first one, when i equals 1, the first dimension will be 20 by 10, the next one will be 40 by 20, the next one, uh, the largest one will be 400 by 200. And then it also moves the position. So the first position will be 10, corner, uh, 10, 10. The next position will be 20, 20. And that's that corner position here. So that's why the, the position of this left corner keeps moving. And since we didn't clear the screen, it just layers it on top of the other one. So what we should be able to do is create shapes using the shape object. We should be able to use various operations of the shape object uh, to animate, move, rotate. And so the challenge for you guys is to add a line and a circle to a window, set the color of the size and location of the shapes, and try to animate the circle so it looks like it moves across the line from left to right. Okay? And I, uh, I will do that and post it in another video.